I think now the impetus for change is coming from a growing realisation um, that there's a need to rethink uh, the purposes of education, rethink what it is that we're trying to do with children. And over the course of the last 15, 20 years, uh, there's been remarkably little debate about the purposes of education. Um, we've tended to take that for granted and have focused on issues to do with school improvement or school effectiveness, uh, how to get better and better at doing the kind of things that we just assume are the right things to do. And we have to ask the question, is continuing to do what we did in the 20th century going to be suitable for those young people as they live throughout the 21st century. There's no easy answer to that, but that's one of the starting points, I think, for reform. And it's, it's characterising the debate that's taking place in countries across Europe and across the world at the moment. There's a conjunction of circumstances that make it more or less likely that uh, change will uh, take root and become successful inside a system. Sometimes that's because um, there are issues that have been thrown up in a system that make the system question itself and want to engage in change. But equally it can be a system that's highly successful, is engaging with, wants to engage uh, with how it stays ahead of the curve rather than being complacent about where it, where it stands. I think the nature of the, of the world in which uh, we are now living, the nature of the scope and pace of change in society more generally, means that we need a much more organic process uh, of change than has been the case uh, hitherto. So there isn't, I don't think, a right time for change. Um, I think there's, a, there's a, a, a culture, a process, a way of thinking about how we ensure that we are providing um, young people with the most relevant and highest quality education that we possibly can. That's a continuous process, not a, not a process that takes place at a particular point in time. To my knowledge, there's no one country that we can point to and say that's the perfect example of, of uh, sustained change taking place, apart from anything else. The, the, the uh, evaluation of sustained change would require a, a perspective that we don't yet have. The example which I can quote, which is the one that I'm most familiar with at the moment, is work that's currently going on in, in Wales, uh, where um, uh, Wales have adopted, are, are engaged in a major piece of, of curriculum reform. They've got a, a curriculum reform that's based on the definition of purposes, which is different from previous practice, where curriculum tended to be about coverage of a given set of subjects. Well, what Wales is saying is, yes, that, that may all be relevant, but it's got to serve broader purposes, not just simply be coverage of those subjects. But in order to achieve that, it's, it's setting up what it calls four enabling objectives. Uh, and those objectives relate to, to building up the capacity of, the, of, the, of teachers and those who are working with children, improving the leadership agenda, addressing issues to do with equity, and addressing the accountability agenda. Which is particularly interesting is that the new curriculum is not being written by a working group, it's not being written in the ministry, it's, not being, it's being written by 170 pioneer schools across Wales. So that co-construction approach is designed to ensure that the profession, the teaching profession, feels ownership of what comes out of the, the curriculum process rather than feeling the curriculum is something they have to implement. And a, 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 a debate I constantly have with, with colleagues in the, in the ministry are whenever they use the word impl words implement or deliver, I say there's a metaphorical swear box they have to put money in because that suggests schools are just there to do what somebody else wants. The word I want them to use is realise, make it a reality. How do you make a curriculum? How do you make the ambitions that are in the Welsh, New Wales curriculum a reality in every school, for every child, in every classroom across, uh, across Wales? So they're an example of a country that's embarked on this process, a long way to go, but they're embarking on a very systematic approach based on co-construction, which has a, a fair chance of creating something that might sustain in the way that previous educational reforms have tended not to do.